Here to discuss this is the chairman of the Harris Poll, former 2008 Hillary Clinton presidential campaign chief and uh, strategist and author of this great new book, Microtrends Micro Squared, Mark Penn. Mark, congratulations on the book. Thank you. It's out now. Uh, <clears throat> before we get to it, i got to ask you about uh, Hillary Clinton's <clears throat> series of speeches. She's getting blowback from Democrats now. Do you think that she healed anything with her long uh, explanation? <clears throat> I think that's, <clears throat> sorry, I think it's the kind of thing that, uh, look, uh, aides would run to her and say, you got to take this back. And, and then she issued a statement basically walking it back somewhat and acknowledging that she made a mistake. You know, in the book, I find it's the opposite, that there's closet conservatives, that women who voted for Trump are, in fact, terrorized about explaining what their real views are. So it's quite the opposite of what she said. What's going You know her personally. I mean, uh, we, we ran this montage of excuses. There's about 60. I mean, who's she listening to, who's she talking to, and it's been a year and a half now. Well, I think it's time for her to get off that. It's time for her to talk about the issues that she spent her life on. Forget the election. Donald Trump had a message that worked from Indiana to Pennsylvania that attracted working class voters that Hillary Clinton used to get when we started with her in 2000. You see, the, uh, we saw the Connor Lamb won by running from Nancy Pelosi. Tim Ryan got a lot of votes when he tried to, uh, when he tried to challenge her leadership. Do you think among the Democratic Party there's a sense there need new leadership? Well, look, I, I've always been part of the centrist wing of the Democratic Party, and so I, I've always been one that says we've got to get swing voters, and Connor Lamb was able to do that. Right. I think it's better for the country if there's somebody in the middle on both sides. Uh, all right, I want to talk about micro trends because you're, you're, in the, uh, you're in the business of getting people elected, but you also understand technology and how it's working in our lives. And I thought the subtitle was telling the new small forces driving today's big disruptions. What do you mean? Well, it, the book really details a lot of different changes to help people understand what's going on. Those changes are, some of them are demographic, like uh, there are more nanogenarians or more old people than ever before in our country and what they're going to need, while young people are kind of much more footloose and fancy free, spending 10 or 15 years before they get married. These changes on both sides are creating kind of a, a disruption that people don't understand that I try to explain in the book. You also go through technology, and you were chief strategy officer for micro, uh, Microsoft, so you said this is not new to you. Tell us what technology really is doing and social networks are really there for. Well, I talk about relationships with bots, and I say people have to be really careful. For example, is Alexa a he or a she? Most people say a she. Yeah. It's an it. It's a bunch of code designed to sell you on whatever Amazon could sell you. So it's very uh, careful. I think people have to be very careful here that what they think is working for them can oftentimes be sales tools or data that they're providing uh, to tech companies or really used for advertising. I don't think there's necessarily something wrong with it, except there's no disclosure. And in the book, I say be very careful mm -hmm. about these relationships and let's have disclosure. When people knocked at your door to sell you a vacuum cleaner or encyclopedia, you knew what they were there for. Now when you go on Facebook, you think it's to meet people, but you say Facebook is also an example of a sales tool. Well, look, what Facebook and a lot of the other products did was first they had a service for you, then the demand of earnings turned it into an advertising service. Then it was no longer working for you. It was about selling things. And I think you notice Wikipedia is a nonprofit. They didn't have that. If Wikipedia hadn't gone nonprofit, you'd be buying your keywords probably. Now, you know what they tell us? We're giving you something to make your life better. You're revealing your interests and your wants, and we're providing that for you. What's your answer? And look, there's a bargain there, but you don't understand your side of the bargain. You're giving up your privacy. You're letting a, it's like having a salesperson in your closet, in your home. If you want that, okay. But what I say in the book is you gotta know this, and driverless cars I don't think are coming for quite some time. Someone just died yesterday. Let's not un let's understand that technology has limits. But this book is right. about technology, but it's also about the social relationship changes that we're seeing in society, and it's a lot of fun. Right, and we can figure out where society is going when we take this in. Uh, Microtrend Squared is now out. Mark Penn is here to talk about it. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. And thanks for your expertise.